Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to root Android Marshmallow. Now, a few things have changed since you last rooted your phone, so the root method is going to be a little bit different as well. The main difference in all this is that now you're going to have to flash a modified boot image, or a kernel rather, to get root in the first place. To make that part a whole lot easier, I'd suggest that you just install Elemental X, which is a Marshmallow compatible kernel that already works with root. Then of course to install kernels in Flash the Super User Zip, you're going to need to have a custom recovery installed on your device. That can be done without root using fastboot commands in a computer, and I've got that whole process outlined at the full tutorial on Gadget Hacks. But once you have a custom recovery installed on your Nexus device, there are a couple of files that you'll need to download. One is of course the Elemental X kernel, which will of course allow you to root in the first place. Then the second file you'll need to download is the Super SU zip, which does all the rooting for you. And again, I have both of these linked out at the full tutorial, so head over there to grab your copies. But then the next step is to boot into custom recovery. To do that, basically start by powering your phone completely off. Then when the screen goes black, press and hold the volume down and power buttons at the same time. That'll bring up Android's bootloader menu, and from here, just press the volume down button twice to highlight recovery mode, then press the power button to select it. And once you've made it into TWRP's main menu here, go ahead and press the install button and navigate to your device's download folder. From here, do the kernel first. So select the Elemental X zip, and then swipe the slider at the bottom of the screen. When that's finished, don't hit reboot system just yet. Instead, hit this back button a couple times to head back out to your downloads folder, and then you can select the Super SU zip, and of course, swipe the slider at the bottom of the screen to install it. Once you're done there, go ahead and hit Reboot System, and when you get back up, you should be rooted. Once you get back up, verify that you're rooted by downloading an app called Root Checker from developer Joey Krim. After you dismiss those first messages, go ahead and tap this Verify Root button, and then hit Grant on the Super User Access request. Shortly thereafter, you should see a message that says, Congratulations, your device has root access. That means you're good to go. But there are quite a few more specifics that you should be aware of in this root process, and I've covered them all at the full tutorial on Gadget X, so be sure to check that out. As always, though, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking!